Makers, welcome back to Simply Innovation. Today I'm gonna show you a simple Internet of Things experiment connecting my ESP32. I'm using Node MCU Node 32S with a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, an LED, and also a potentiometer. Then this device will post to my Node.js backend server that deployed on Heroku. You can check on heroku.com. Then store the data into my SQL, hosted on Google Cloud SQL. Okay, from my ESP32, post to my Node.js backend server on Heroku, then store the data into my SQL on Google Cloud SQL. Let's get started. So I created a simple Node.js backend server using Express.js, then deploy it on Heroku. This is my app. Let's open my app to see the response from my backend server. This is the response from my initial root backend server. Okay it's good it's activated and then on google cloud SQL, i've created an instance here let's activate the cloud shell here then let's connect to my instance to see the database the table and also the data inside my mysql database on google cloud SQL. okay let's wait then to connect we can type gcloud SQL connect my instance name lintang then username lintang like this and let's wait again then i'll type my password to connect to my instance okay it's connected let's type show databases to see all the databases inside my instance okay I've created Lintang IoT database here. I'll use it. Use Lintang IoT. Then we can show tables to see all the tables inside my database. There is just a table called IoT here. Let's type select asterisk from IoT to see the data inside this table. Okay, empty set. There is no data. Let's type describe IoT to see the structure of my table. Okay, suhu, temperature, lembab, humidity, analog, uh, potentiometer value, and then waktu or timestamp. Nice. Let's create my ESP32. Then I'll post the data from my ESP32. I'm using Node 32S here. I'll power it up with 5 volt power supply. It will post the data every 10 seconds. Okay. Nice. LED is on. It means my ESP32 is sending the data. Then on my Gcloud SQL, let's type select asterisk from IoT to see the data. Nice. There is a data, the first data from my ESP32. Suhu 23, temperature 23 humidity 64 and potentiometer value 4095 okay let's type again select asterisk from iot there are three data already then let's try to minimize the potentiometer value i minimize to zero hopefully okay it's zero it's minimum then let's type select asterisk from iot nice the fourth data here analog value is zero it works let's try to maximize a little here maybe okay then wait a moment okay let is on let's type select asterisk from iot it's still zero why oh it's still zero Let's maximize like this. Oh, nice. 1408. Let's wait again. Nice. Maximum value. So, that's it. A simple Internet of Things connectivity using my ESP32. Post the data to my Node.js backend server, then store the data into my SQL Google Cloud SQL. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next simple project by Simply Innovation. Bye.